episode 85 of series 5 of Master League Story Mode. Well, today is the day. The final result of the vote is in. The patrons have spoken. Thank you to all the new patrons who came on board for this vote. Uh, I see what you tried to do. Bit of a spoiler there. And thank you to all of the existing patrons who've been with me for the last year, maybe. Maybe a little bit more. Huge respect to you. You really have kept this channel going in so many ways. Kept me going. And you have had your say. And as I said in the last episode, we were moving to Liverpool. There has been a slight change. We've gone from over 60 in one direction uh, and it's gone down now to 58 in one, 41% in the other. But the 58% said yes, move to Liverpool. So it is going to happen. As we mentioned in the last episode at the very end, if you made it that far, Manchester United also offered Marcelo Bielsa a job. And uh, these big sides would be coming in and trying to prize Marcelo Bielsa away. He's proved himself as a top, top manager. Even with limited funds, he's managed to create a side that is being able to uh, compete on both a European and domestic stage. And I really do think Marcelo Bielsa would be an ambitious enough man to want to move to one of these big clubs, to get the big money, to get the big transfer budget, to really push to win something. He's not got that many years of his career left. He's a fairly old man. And moving to a side like Liverpool with the history, with the winning pedigree, it's going to be very hard to turn down. So I'm happy with the decision. Not least because we have a massive injury crisis brewing at Leeds. But we do have one final game to play in the white of Leeds. Marcelo Bielsa's testimonial game as a manager. And it is against the old rival and it's at Old Trafford. But as I said, a bit of an injury problem as we will see here. Both Juan Brunetta and De Jong out. We don't want a Cobos patterson <laughs> midfield duo, do we? Uh, luckily we can bring in Serge Gnabry. I think we're going to play Chidozi centre mid. Yep, that's going to have to do. Everyone else can stay as is. We could have started the horse, but Dozer is actually not a bad central midfielder. He's got all the qualities. Uh, Manchester United, obviously one point ahead of Liverpool in the league at the moment. We could have gone here. We could have done. I think the one reason I didn't put it to the vote, didn't even consider that option, is they're not in the Champions League anymore. They are a point ahead of us in the league. And uh, they do have a much better goal difference, but we're about to change that now as Marcelo Bielsa's parting gift to Leeds and an arrival present to uh, Liverpool will be to beat Manchester United today. Let's do it. So it is going to be a sad, sad farewell to Leeds. I mean, we've had a great couple of seasons there. Two and a half seasons of just beautiful football, of winning, of progressing. But I think uh, you've got to put it down to the board, really. I think if the board had backed us... If Adrizani had actually given us some money, then I think Marcelo Bielsa would have stayed. But as it is, we're operating with a skeleton squad. And with two injuries to two of our big central midfielders. We're just not the same team that we should be. Try to compete for these big prizes. And I think that would be one of the big reasons that Bielsa would be happy to leave. It's going to be a huge blow to the Leeds fans. He's become a real community man. He's always popping up in cafes, taking photos with babies. He's a lovely, lovely man. He will be... Massively missed in Leeds, but he's going to Liverpool, where there's also some pretty decent support, I've heard. But anyway, before we do that, let's beat Manchester United just once. We always struggle against them. This could be a massive win. Oh, that's Paul there from Baye. Romero into Nabry. Flicks it back into Maxi. Romero hits it first time. <laughs> Unleashes with the left. De Gea didn't look certain that was going wide. Clivert does well to find Sessegnon. Sprays a lovely ball out to Callum Patterson. Maxi Romero's in fine goal scoring form at the moment. Can he get onto this one away from Alderet? He can. Lutman will have a go with the left. De Gea, good save. Oh, mistake there. And Clivert can profit from it into Serge Nabry. Can he open the scoring? That's quite far wide. Was under a lot of pressure there from Bailly. It's a mistake here from United. Bailly with the mistake, actually, and Clivert pushed into the path of Serge Nabry. Able to get it on the right foot, went the outside of the boot, well wide. Bernardo, strong header. And now Nabry. Oh, skips away from Lindelof. Now into the box here. Can square it for Romero De Gea. Incredible save. We're putting them under all sorts of pressure here. We're continuing the great football from the last episode. Serge Nabry. Potentially a player we should look at taking to Liverpool. He's been excellent for us. De Gea has been very busy so far. Nabry, that's smart into Jadozi. Returns the favour. 
Now Nabry away from Matic. Inside of Lindelof, great running. Oh, it's a lovely ball into Maxi Romero and a calm finish from the Argentinian. And that is just a continuation of the flowing, beautiful football we've been playing in recent games. Such Nabry, so dangerous. He's just so strong, so quick. It's fizzed in to Maxi Romero. He had a lot to do there. It was a good ball. It had to be quick in a tight space. So, uh, yeah. Had a lot to do there. Difficult first touch, but as soon as he brought it under, he just went into Zen mode. The left foot finished, calmly dispatched. And uh, yeah, wow, perfect start here. 20 minutes in, and we're already up. Half an hour gone, and Alexis Sanchez has played through. No one in the box. Bernardo comes out. Sanchez rides the challenge well. Lays it back to Matic. Rashford on the turn into Martial. Lucasen with the challenge. <sighs> Ooh, Matic has hit that well. Oh, Gomez does well. Now Cliver. Gomez continues his run from centre back. Now he's got a chance to put a ball into the box. It's a clever one. Ooh, Lindelof can clear. It's going to fall to Seapats here. He's had a go. And it's somewhere towards Loch Ness. Never to be seen again. Oh, Bernardo. Lovely distribution there into Sessignon. A player that we'd like to bring to Liverpool. And he's found there, and it's a lovely first touch. Valencia does well, but Sessegnon's through. Great running from the left back. Definitely want him in a Liverpool shirt next season. Him, Bernardo and Maxi. Those are the three we want to take with us. He's done really well here. Rode the challenge of Valencia. De Gea. Sixth or seventh save today, perhaps. Cliver with the in-swinger. Bernardo looks to get the flick. Could fall here. Oh, Patterson. <laughs> Would have been great for Seapats to get a goal in this important game. We've won it back well. Patterson. Oh, clever. Chidozi. Very clever. Oh, De Gea again. It's taken the best keeper in the world, arguably, to prevent us having a bit of a rout here at Old Trafford. Shadozi steps inside. He's adapted very well to the central midfield position. Pogba's corner here. Half-time nearly upon her. Sessegnon beaten. Oh, it's off the bar. But it'll fall to Anthony Martial with a very easy finish. They didn't deserve that. Sessegnon there. Beaten to it by who's that? Rashford. And then a tap in for Martial. That's gutting. We've had so many chances. That might be only their second or third of the game. We deserve better than that. And there we are, one all at the half here at Old Trafford. Got to be disappointed with that. Look at that domination, utter domination. Marcelo Bielsa's side. Embarrassing Manchester United today. Anything less than a win after that first half would be a cruel blow. Especially in our final game as Leeds manager. Oh, Sanchez will beat Seapats to this one. Patterson, rugged. Back out to Lindelof. Oh, no. Sanchez is through. Martial's effort. Well, wide in the end. Interesting. Oh, Patterson. Important. And then finds a ball inside to Navri. Oh, he's got the better of Bailly. Oh, clever ball into Cliver. No. <laughs> oh, Serge Navri having a lovely run of form at the moment. Patterson's ball in. Navri somehow gets the better of Bailly. And look at this pass into Cliver. Once again, it's De Gea preventing us. He has made a lot of saves today. Oh, Pogba has played through. No, Pogba! <laughs> Miles away. Okay, okay. Slight defensive mix-up there. Pogba allowed through, but didn't ever look like scoring. Lukaku now. Oh, danger ball here. Sanchez off the post. Wow, this has been an incredible game. Sessegnon into Chidozi, back into Sessegnon. Oh, looks for Maxi. Oh, what's happened here? Lookman, inside. Looking for Maxi Romero to win it here! Yes! Huge defensive mistake there from Manchester United, gifting us a goal right at the death here. What the hell is Lindelof, I think that is, doing? And then Maxi Romero, dead eye finishing there from the centre forward. Can we hang on here? Lookman into Patterson. We've just got to keep the ball here. Patterson. Oh, that's cultured. Out to Cliver. Now Nabry. We're not going to give the ball away. We are just going to keep the ball here. 
Abri away from Fred into Cliver. 30 seconds on the clock here. Cliver down the line. It goes out, but there's only four seconds left. We might have done it. <laughs> what a send off this is for Leeds United. Really impressive work here today. We deserved it. We absolutely deserved it. Maxi Romero with a brace to dispatch the old enemy. And look at that. <laughs> he just blitzed them. David De Gea with a world-class performance, but even that wasn't enough in the end. Got to see how many saves he made. Six saves. Incredible. Not good enough, though. Not good enough. Maxi Romero, man of the match. Chidozi actually played okay in central midfield. Um, but yeah, we had no substitutes to make. We did it, but it's no more than a send-off here. An emotional send-off for Marcelo Bielsa, who uh, applauds the away fans with a, a visible tear in his eye. But it's onwards and upwards here. Please just say Liverpool won their... Oh, they did win. Excellent. Okay. They beat West Ham. That's good to know. Arsenal lost. And Manchester City lost as well. Oh, and Liverpool <laughs> handed a move up into second by Marcelo Bielsa's leads. Um, and we're only eight points now behind Manchester City. Very interesting. They've really had a goal-scoring problem this season. How have they only scored 24, 24 goals in 19 games? That's mental. That's really weird. But... Anyway, that's where we're going, and we've set it up well there. Manchester United dropping down. And time to look at our final monthly report as Leeds manager. And what a month it was. Five wins, one draw, one loss. Who did we lose to in the end? Oh yeah, of course, City. If only we could have beaten City. Maxi with five goals. Cliver having a good run of form, as did Adamola Lutman. Be tempted to bring one of those two in. I don't think they're struggling for wingers at Liverpool, but we're going to have to find out. Sessegnon really involved in the dribbling and passing. Um, Maxi Romero, 19% success rate, a lot of shots from him. Bernardo dominant. Actually, Joe Gomez, great tackles, one stats, and matching Bernardo in the air. That's really interesting. But with a heavy heart, the 31st of December rolls around, and it's time to say goodbye. It's time to accept our new role. It's time to look forward rather than backwards. It's time to look for more trophies. It's time to look for silverware. Ultimately, why else would you become a manager? but to try and win things. Marcelo Bielsa has weighed things up and he realises that his best chance is as Liverpool manager. Taking over from Jurgen Klopp. It's going to be bye-bye to Leeds. See you later. And uh, I can't do a Scouse accent, so there we are. Oh my God, confirm. Yes, I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm quite sure. And here we are, January 2022. A new year, a new club. Marcelo Bielsa with a new challenge. We've still got the Champions League. We've still got the Premier League to fight for. We've got a totally new team now. We are going to take a horrible team spirit hit. I'm just preparing you all for that. But there he is. Here at Anfield. Looking good. I mean, he has gone from, to many people, a bit of a joke of a manager. A cult hero, yes, but one that's only really been the subject of uh, rumours and jokes about his personality and his style. But he's proven in his time at Leeds and now hopefully at Liverpool that he is a top, top class manager whose uh, style is not just something to be read about in books, but it's something that actually works in real life. And we've got a new mission now. Apparently we're going to love it at Liverpool. That chairman looks familiar. He's got a feeling we're going to do well here. Well, is that John Henry? I guess it is. He's put on a bit of weight. Let's see what missions they're putting forward for us What's to qualify for the Champions League. Well, we should manage that. And there is Marcelo Bielsa having his uh, Reds TV, is that what it's called, interview? Uh, time, of course, first thing to do, go and look at the team. <sighs> 50 team spirit, that's that's not good, that's not ideal at all. I think we can maybe improve that, I mean we can definitely improve it by bringing in some of our players who know our system. Um, Mane's definitely going to play right wing. Um, at the moment, I guess... Our striker is Vitinho. Is he our highest rated striker? We'd probably play Salah there, wouldn't we? And then... DePaul is pretty decent, but not as a left winger. Look, we need a centre forward, definitely. I like Salah and Mane out where they should be. So DePaul are in here. Unfortunately, he is going to have to be sold. He is not a real player. Um, I think as it stands, we do need an attacking midfielder, don't we, really? Don't think Juan is going to hack it. That might be one for the scouts. 
Um, and then I think it's going to be the Ox, Cater, and Fabinho rotating between these two positions here. And we need a new attacking mid, hopefully one that fits our uh, playing style and a new centre forward. So that's shopping this number one, attacking mid, centre forward. Um, De Paula has to leave. Centre backs is, yeah, that's an area of concern. We do need. We could probably get away with Matip, couldn't we? Maybe. God, he's slow. We need two centre-backs. We're going to have to get Bernardo in if we can. Good thing is we've got Trent, a player that we love. We need a left-back. So we need two centre-backs, a left-back, an attacking mid and a striker. We've got a hell of a lot of players that we can sell. Um, there's not a lot on the bench that I'm that excited about. But the thing to do now is get them on the transfer list. Hopefully we can sell some of them. Maybe some of them are already bid for. Uh, Fabinho, oh, they're all wanting contract extensions. Um, we're not going to be here for more than a year. I'm not even sure if we're going to mess with that, to be honest. But what we are going to do is get busy here and just basically transfer list everyone. Uh, we've got 35 million transfer budget to work with. That's two really good players. Uh, 7.2 salary budget. That's, yeah, maybe two or three players. Maybe two or three. Obviously, we've got a loan to bring in if we want and a free transfer. Uh, we'll, we'll reset that, I think. Don't know if there'll be anyone of a good enough quality to bring in with that, but we'll have a look. For now, we'll just keep cracking on and uh, transfer list everyone. So there we are. That's just about everyone transfer listed. Obviously, Mo Salah, our highest rated player, 88, is going to be our limit. Um, the only problem with being coming in in January is we don't have a lot of time to sell players and bring players in, but what we definitely need is a centre forward. Let's go and check and see how likely it is we can bring in some of our Leeds players first before we decide where we're going to scout. I think we'll probably get a pretty good idea straight away just by the chances of signing. Let's take a look. Have they bought anyone yet? No, it's only been a day. So, who could we sign? Sessegnon, definite signing. We could definitely bring him in. Be tempted by Lookman as well, actually. Um, he... I mean, we could... It's probably worth it. It's probably worth a punt. Anyway, got to bring in Maxi. Got to give it a go. 20% chance. 26 is as high as we can go. Do they want any of our players? Would you like De Paula? That doesn't actually help at all. It just takes the transfer fee. Doesn't change. I know it does change. It takes 20 million off. Well, we'll try that. We'll try it. It doesn't actually increase the chance of signing. Um, we'll give you whatever you want, mate. <laughs> you can have all the goal bonuses. All the win bonuses, all the appearance bonus you want. We want you in this club. We'll pay you a lovely salary. I don't think that's going to work. I don't think he's going to come. Uh, we want Bernardo as well. We'll be fairly aggressive about this. I think if we just keep putting in bids for them, eventually someone will come. Uh, we can offer them a lightly used Jordan Henderson. Still only 26% though, same as Maxi. 26% if we keep trying... We might get some luck there, but I think we might be fighting a losing battle with these two. I was expecting the chances of signing to be a lot higher, actually. Um, so I'm a little disappointed there. I'm sure they'd want to go with Marcelo, wouldn't they? Surely. Uh, and Sessegnon, well, we definitely need a left back. And the wizard of the pitch. Looks like he's a little bit more up for coming. Three out of five chances of signing here. Um, we can probably stretch to 17 mil for him. We want him in our side. Um, nice reasonable salary as well. Good on you, Ryan. Fine for salary. No problems at all. Do you want anyone? We could offer you someone like Adam Lallana. Hey, he's good. That's not helped at all. We could offer you Govia, but we sort of probably need a reserve DM. Oh no, we've got Cater and Fabinho to play there. The Ox ahead of them. I don't think we need to do a trade for this one. We'll keep that as it is. There we go. Uh, Lookman and we could bring Joe Gomez back. I mean, he would be an improvement. Absolutely be an improvement. Um, yeah, I think we are. I think we're going to try and bring him back to Liverpool. Still only 25 years old. And I think we're going to try and bring... Where's Juan Brunetta? Mm, it's a shame. He's not going to be... Well, he is good enough to play there. He's good enough to be our attacking mid. But I don't think... I think we want better than that. Uh, we'll see if we can get hold of Adamola Lutman. 
in return for no one I'd like him as an option at least at least while we wait for the scouts to bring us back you know potentially a world class centre forward if Maxi doesn't go through uh, we'll try try 13 get him on a 1.5 and yeah Joe Gomez just because he's interested we might as well try and bring him home I think he would uh, have a certain amount of loyalty to Marcelo Bielsa, but also feel like returning to Liverpool certainly be a good step in his career. So we'll try him 14 mil. Obviously, all of these add up to way more than we've got, so we have to make sales. Uh, but there we are. Marcelo Bielsa with the instant pillage. I don't think Maxi or Bernardo are going to work first time, but that's fine. If we have to get a centre back, I think we're well, there. Yeah, so we're definitely going to look for a centre forward in Europe and we're going to go for overall rating we need the very best, we'll ignore that we also need top quality centre back uh, we'll go with Europe again overall rating, yes, yep and we need an attacking midfielder, definitely need an attacking midfielder and we're going to go with, I think we'll just go with Europe Surely a good way of doing it, I guess. Overall rating, yeah, we need quality there. So there we are. Hmm, okay. So pretty much all the negotiation bits done. Let's progress. So, first test for Liverpool. I can sort of see why they've not scored many goals. Obviously, Marcelo Bielsa will be looking to change that. We do still have problems with the team spirit here. 54 team spirit. Um, so if I remember correctly... Uh, before we go anywhere, Fabinho, yes, look at that. He was a captain, he was a great captain at Arsenal as well for us, wasn't he? And uh, that has brought us up to 69 team spirit straight away. That is a big improvement. Um, but we don't really want to play him in this game. I think we probably will play him just for the team spirit before we bring in some of um, Bielsa's players, which will hopefully bring that up a little. Oh, Bettinho is shit. No wonder they haven't scored any goals. Daniel Sturridge. Yeah, really lacking in strikers. Adam Milana, I guess we'll bring him in. Grankfist. Who is Jason? 28 year old. Hmm. There's some cracks being papered over at Liverpool at the moment. Luckily, we've still got Salah. Vitinho, not a good finisher. Quite quick. Right footed. Um, Govier is a good player. Other than that, the bench isn't looking good, you know. I think, if anything, <laughs> Leeds' first team might have been better. But they don't have the, the magic of Mo Salah. An ageing Sadio Mane. Still got the finishing, still got the speed. That's all we need. If I had someone I'd rather play out on the right, I mean, we could play Lallana on the right. That help our team spirit at all? It would. It's a 76. So we'll play Lallana out on the right. And then Bettinho on the bench. Sadio Mane as striker. Mo Salah a striker. Yeah, it's not really the Bielsa way, but we'll go with it. So the bad things here, Moreno and Lovren on that side. Hopefully we can improve that quickly with Gomez and Sessegnon. If not, some even better players. That's going to have to do. So let's get into it. Fulham. It's a good start. It's a nice team to be starting against. We're going to have to start for Bino, aren't we? How much of a change will it make if we bring Gavir in? Yeah. So 72 team spirit is actually not that bad. I was panicking a bit to begin with. Uh, Lalana, still a decent passer. God, he's slow. He is slow as fuck. What about Brewster up top? Quick, slightly better finisher. We lose three team spirit, but Lalana is awful. Patinho, 69 as well. Do we go for the 72 team spirit or a decent striker? We'll go with Brewster. Uh, Oxlade Chamberlain attacking midfield isn't a natural position for him. Keita might be better there, actually. Yeah, we'll go with Keita there. It's actually, not a bad finisher. Uh, yeah, this isn't as exciting as we thought, but we've got money and we've got contacts. New players will be coming in. Just got to win this game. We cannot afford any slip ups here. So, Marcelo Bielsa has had mere days to uh, try and inspire his footballing strategies and footballing philosophies into this Liverpool side. In many ways, you would expect the team spirit to not be affected that much. Jurgen Klopp's style, I mean, we play Gegenpress, 
That is Jurgen Klopp through and through. We're high pressure, quick counter-attacking type of teams. But uh, yeah, I mean, 69 team spirit, 72 if we had Alana in, it's not too bad. We bring in some of our players, that will increase. But we need to win today. We need to start positively. Come on! Ox, well played out to find Lovren. Now Mo Salah. Very excited to start having him run at this team. Oh, away from Gomez, that's nice. Low ball in. Brewster! Oh, I'm trying to think of a Brewster's Millions joke that'll work. Good film, that. But Mo Salah there, showing what he does best. Playing him out on the left, I'm not sure about. Maybe we should switch wings. We can do at some point. Brewster almost opening the scoring there. So Trent here on corners will whip one in. Oh, it's Messi in the box. Oh, we found a way through. <laughs> oh, and who is it? Sadio Mane. First goal of the Bielsa era here at Anfield. It's good to start at home as well in front of the uh, in front of the cop. Is that the cop? I don't know which end the cop is. It's good to be playing as Liverpool and we get the nice licensed stadium as well. And it wasn't the cleanest of goals, but we will absolutely take it. So there we are, Trent putting it into a danger area. I think it was Cater with the first header and then the Fulham defenders couldn't react. It's not the prettiest goal, but we've taken the lid off the goal, so to speak, for Marcelo Bielsa. A oh, lovely ball into Schürrle. Oh my god. Oh no, no. What? How have we not taken that under? Looked like Alisson had dealt with that there. And as soon as we score our first goal, we then concede. It's a good ball. Trent out of position. Ah. Oh. None of the Liverpool defenders in attendance could deal with it there. We've conceded straight away. Not ideal. It's well one back. Now the Ox through the centre. He's got options left and right. One of them is Naby Keita into the box. He's fouled there surely. Brewster will have a chance here. And it's a great save. The Ox can't really keep it in. But Salah can put it into Keita. No. Surely should have scored there. Our oh, Hazard away from Dejan Lovren. The quicker we can get him out of this side, the better. He struggles. It's into Schürrle. Danger here. Mitrovic on the turn. Allison, Easy take in the end. Hazard now out wide. The first half nearly over. Mitrovic lays it back to Zakaria. He puts it wide. Ooh, would have been an awful end to the half. Ooh, they've got a free kick here. No time left at all. Thorgan Hazard into the box. Fabinho heads away. Out only as far as Joe Bryan. Trent will nick it. But that will be half time here at Anfield. Well, we scored and then conceded almost straight away. It's not been the beautiful, comprehensive football we were playing at Leeds. But there will always be a teething period. A bedding in time. We're in the middle of that right now. We need to know how to get the best out of these players. It's not going to happen overnight. But we do actually need it to happen overnight. Shit. Okay, come on. Fabinho out wide to Mo Salah. Can he run at Joe Bryan for the first time here? Salah inside. Brewster ahead of him. Still Mo Salah. Oh, he's lost it. But it's into Cater here. Oh, the effort's a good one and it's a good save as well. Oh, Moreno does well to get to that. Now Brewster away from Chambers. All inside to Moreno. That wasn't really what we had planned. But now Rian Brewster steps inside into the box. Lays it back to Cater. No! That was the best chance. Salah's effort is blocked as well. Well, we've certainly created chances. We just haven't quite been able to finish them off. Will we get another one here? Brewster. Into Sadio Mane. No way. <laughs> so many missed chances today. You can see why this Liverpool side have got so few goals this season. But that should have been. Should have been. Just wide. Oh, and Cuckoo will get to this in the box. No! Oh, my God! Matip with the crucial header there. We will get it away. No, we won't. Oh, no. No, no, no. This really feels like Fulham about to score here. Schurler, the curler. Oh, not enough in the end. Cater will push it out to Salah. Can just about keep it in. 90th minute here. Mo Salah through the centre. Sees the run of Cater. Oh, he's fouled there. Surely edge of the box. Could there be very, very late drama here? We have failed to take any of our chances. Could we take one from this free kick opportunity? It's going to be Trent. The young Englishman. We love him and become a legend. No! It's off the wall. Thought we'd got that just right. 
Short corner here into Mo Salah. Can he create a shooting opportunity? Salah! Yes! The little Egyptian saves Marcelo Bielsa. Heartbreak in his first game for Liverpool. He's been anonymous all game. We really do need to work out how he fits into Marcelo Bielsa's system. It just seemed like a waste to have him out wide all game. But look at that. The Liverpool supporter there with the shirtless scarf look. That is a strong look. And look at this. Well... There was only one thing in our mind. Get it to uh, Mo Salah. We've seen very little of him today, but that one moment of class saves our blushes here. It's Trent with the low ball. They weren't quick enough to track him. They've had to chase us all game. They are going to be tired. Perfect angle here. Salah curls it home. That's the level of class he provides. The one moment of magic. It's what we needed. And look at that. It was literally... Pretty much the last kick of the game. Wow. 93rd minute winner from Mo Salah. Uh, but this has certainly given us a lot to think about. Main thing being, we didn't make any substitutes in that game because there was no one on the bench we wanted to bring on. Which is a little worrying. But we can change that. Alisson, man of the match performance. That's crazy. I've never seen that. We made five saves in the end, though. I mean, fair enough. Bettinelli, though, must have made even more than that. Six saves. Yeah, he did. He did. Well, there we are. What a game. What a start for Marcelo Bielsa. But it is very evident that we need to make signings. How did Leeds get on? 2 0 win. We're always going to be looking to see how Leeds do. Uh, they are still on our tails. Manchester City 1 0 against Newcastle. Predictable. The eight point gap remains. It may be too much to claw back. The goal difference is a real issue for us at the moment. 11. That is not good. I haven't actually checked. I wonder if we've still got City to play. So we will get a quick look and see if any negotiations have gone through. Bernardo has gone through, but no Maxi. Okay, that's good. That's good. We can pretty much sort out the defence with those three players. Um, and then we need to focus on the attack. We don't have the money for any of them. And we really need for some players to be uh, leaving. Um, any teams in contact with any of the players we're trying to sell? I mean, it's very early days, probably not yet. Moreno we can get rid of. Yeah, some of the lower players. Could get rid of them. Let's take a look and see. Maxi, that's a real shame. That's a real shame. Uh, Bernardo, that's good. We can get him for Henderson going the other way. We're not going to play Henderson. 2.8 salary. Lovely old job. Sessegnon, 17 mil cash. Straight up. I mean, he's better than Moreno. We'll certainly want to bring him in. And then Joe Gomez, 14. So we could... Yep, we can afford all of these, just... I don't know if we can salary-wise, though, but we probably will with players like uh, Henderson leaving. That's fine. And we're going to have to go after Maxi again, but um, to wait and see what the scouts got for us as well. Um, we can also, in the next episode, have a little look in Argentina. We'll have a little look now, just to wet our whistle. Is there a crazy loan signing we can make? That could be an interesting one. Could we loan Maxi Romero? Do you think that would work? Uh, we could get Higain on a loan. Lo Celso attacking mid on a loan. That would be an interesting one. Could try and buy him, obviously. Uh, Correa. There's a good few Argentinians here we could look at. Let me know what we should go for. You know, if worst comes to worst, we can't find a striker. Latoro Martinez would certainly do a job. It's an attacking midfield we need, though, and Lo Celso would certainly do the job there. Good finisher. Good on the ball. Great on the ball. Not that quick. Or strong, but got great balance and great explosiveness. Uh, I think we would like him, actually. What do you think we could get him for? Uh, any trades? Anyone want anyone? Tino trade. Plus... Uh, that doesn't seem to help. Well, we could try it for... We could try and do the trade. We'll sort all this out in the next episode. We've got stuff to look at. We've also got all the other linked teams. We could look at, say, Manchester City. Anyone in there fancy a move? Firmino, we could bring him back. Uh, Rudiger would be a good centre-back. be happy with Gomez, though, to be honest. Gabriel Jesus, could we sneak him in, do you think? Would he be interested? Probably not. We can pretty much sort the defence in one fell swoop, really. Uh, two, six, about six minutes. We might even be able to afford the salaries just to do that. And then we've got that base of players that we know that will slot straight in. Um, Bernardo Gomez, been happy with that centre-back duo. They've been defending well. I don't know why we'd want to change that too much. 
um, if we could. So there we are. So good start. Let's take a look at the schedule just before we go. Who have we got? Wolves, Palace, easy running. Lovely running. And we've still got City to play. And we've still got Leeds to play. Wow. Wow. And we're still in the FA Cup. Well, that's nice. Are we still in the FA Cup? Yeah, we're still in the FA Cup. Got Wolves in the FA Cup. In the next episode, in fact. That'd be great. So we're in three cups. Uh, what's happening in the Champions League? When's our next Champions League game? So, Marseille in the first knockout round. We've still got United. <sighs> yeah, plenty of games to go. Lots of games. We need to do some serious business in this transfer window. There's so many games left. We can win the league. We can win everything with Liverpool. We do really need to win the league, don't we? And it's in massively in Manchester City's hands at the moment. But we can claw that back. We do need to get Maxi Romero, though. Right. I'll stop waffling now. I'll uh, have a bit more fun in the transfer window in the next episode. Let me know what you think about the three Leeds players to bring in. I think we probably should. Although, maybe we could do better than Gomez. We could definitely bring in Bernardo. Could wait and see what the scouts say. Let me know what you think. See you in a bit.